Let me just ask Woody a couple of quick questions. I don't want to keep him long, all okay? Right. Uh, first of all, um, now, you say in the newspaper you're sleeping with an Oriental girl. What, what exactly is that like? Well, my shirts are clean, but my privates smell like Beck sauce. I see. <laughs> all right. Wow. See, he's always funny. Mr. Oh, Alan, you know, he's tired of just doing straight lines. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. He wants to get back into comedy. This is a press conference. This is an informal press conference, and uh, Mr. Allen wants to, you know, be a little light-handed in all of this. Now, let me tell you something. I have never had an Oriental woman, Mr. Allen. Is there anything strange about having sex with a young Oriental? One hour later, you want another 13-year-old. <laughs> No, but what, what do you what do you and this uh, Soon Yi do for fun? This girl that uh, is Mia Farrow's uh, daughter. Uh, what do you do for fun? Sometimes we play strip Chinese checkers. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear a good joke? Sure. Oh, you got jokes. Oh yeah, come on. Yeah, oh, go ahead. What goes into seven twice? What goes into seven twice? Uh, I don't know what. Me. <laughs> Woody. Woody, you're amazing. You really are an amazing character. You're always, you're still funny. You know that? I can't believe it. You're on a roll, though. I'll tell you that. You know what? It's good to see you laughing, really, you know, in the midst of all your troubles. Now, uh, are you working on any new movies or anything? Yeah. The Jew who robbed the cradle and gone with the chink. Really? All right. All right. You know, you're a funny guy. No, but I have never had sex with a young girl. Obviously, when I was young, I had sex with a young girl. But uh, now I'm with an older woman. I don't have young girls. Right. I mean, it must be weird being this older man and having sex with young girls. What's the toughest part of having sex with young girls? Putting the diaper back on. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, uh, I guess having sex with somebody young would be uh, a challenge, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. One time the crib broke. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about, let, let's switch the topic. Let's go on to something light. What about movies? Do you have any movies on the back burner? You know what? With all the things that are going on in your life, you must have come up with some new movies out of this experience, right? What do you got? Sure, unlawful entry. Unlawful entry? <laughs> I see. Well, that's actually been done already. Oh, how about raising Cain and banging him? Raising Cain and banging him. No. <laughs> how did Mia Farrow, answer this question, how did Mia Farrow find out you were having sex with uh, the young daughter? She found condoms in Sun Yi's lunchbox. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Well, this is some... Uh, some is, interview. Right. <laughs> but you know what I can't figure out? It, it, it almost seems immoral, Robin, for a guy to have sex with, with someone who's practically a step yeah, you, were a, sense, father you figure. were a father figure. You know, uh, why did you sleep? So, and, and I answer this as honestly as you can. Why did you sleep with your oriental stepdaughter? I wanted to get a new slant on things. <laughs> <laughs> it was as simple as that. <laughs> you know, you're a man of few words. You know that. You really are. That's what makes you such a great comedian. Now, uh, what if Soon Yi leaves you and goes back to Mia? I'd wonder where the yellow went. <laughs> I know. I, I'd wonder where the yellow went when I when you brush your teeth with Pepsi. I <laughs> you know, a guy like you, you're as, fa as famous as you are. If you went into a singles bar, you could find tons of girls. Why don't you just go to a singles bar? I'd rather go to a ch children's day se daycare center. <laughs> no, I see. You're a little nervous. I see. I it's been a long time between live performances. <laughs> Now, do you have any other Oriental girlfriends uh, besides uh, Sun Yi? Oh, yeah. Lick some Jill and bang some schmuck. Oh, those two girls. I, I know them. They're very famous. Uh, do you have any others? Sure. Chiu Ju Yang and one young poon. I see. Somebody um, sent me in a fax. They yeah. say uh, Sun Yi's sister is screwed pop, too. Really? <laughs> Now, Woody, I don't want you to explode yet. We're almost done. <laughs> then you can go out and go nuts, all right? Do me a favor. Say something for yourself, something in your own defense. Go ahead. You, you have the floor. I don't have time. I have to get to the schoolyard. It's time for recess. Well, there you go. Woody Allen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, it's not Woody Allen. It's Steve the Engineer. Yeah. There you go. Unbelievable performance, Steve. Are you all right? <laughs> you did very well. <laughs> he rehearsed for over an hour. <laughs> you know, he was sitting out there in the jack lines. I had no idea what he was doing. <laughs> he was rehearsing. Well, good job, Steve, once again. It's always good to have you in here. And uh, Yeah. i got to say you were the most unusual performer we have on the show. <laughs> uh, Steve the Engineer, everybody. Yeah. All right, Steve, thanks.